Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at a network storage solution from Synology. This is the DS220. It's going to allow you to store your videos, your photos, music, and much more. Let's check it out. Now, the DS220 Plus is a network storage solution that gives you the ability to store your music, your videos, uh, your pictures, um, all sorts of content stored securely on a drive that could be backed up. Uh, the other cool thing about this small little box is that it could work as a Plex media server. So if you're a Plex user and you're looking for a way that you can stream your content and offload the Plex server off of a PC or a desktop that you may have, you may want to check one of these out. So let's take a closer look at the physical attributes. We'll take a look at the specs and I'll show you how I retrieve content and store content on the DS220 Plus. Now the DS220 Plus is a really small solution. So you notice how small this is, but this is packed with features. Let me show you what we have going on here in the front. So in the front here, you have your power button, right? You have the ability to connect any kind of media device into this little drive and automatically copy it once you've uh, uh, inserted it. It has a software client that allows you to uh, configure how and what happens when you click or when you plug something into this uh, drive. So for example, I have this defined now so that it automatically goes to a specific folder and I change that folder every month as I'm updating my videos. Now your hard drives are stored here. So let me just show remove this for a second and I'll show you how this works. So here's where the drives are stored. And you can see here that I have a four terabyte file or drive. I have two drives here that are four terabyte each. So I have eight terabytes of storage. Um, you're not gonna really take these out and put these in often. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to remove it. Now on the back here, you have cooling, right? Because this does have a CPU and we'll see those specs in a couple seconds. You have a gigabit connection here and then you also have another USB port with the power connector. You do have, if you wanna lock this down with a cable lock, you have that as well. At the very bottom, you do have some nice little rubberized feet that are gonna allow you to store this. Now what I do, this is so small, um, you know, some people put this like in a storage closet where they have all their cable management. I actually have it underneath my desk. It makes a lot of sense for me because I'm able to connect things and download directly to the drive using that USB connection. Now the DS220 Plus performs really well in my network environment. Um, I use it to store all of my YouTube videos, to retrieve my YouTube videos, as well as to stream content, um, and content specifically from Plex. So as you take a look at the specs here, you'll notice that it has a, a CPU. So notice the CPU specs. Now the DS220 Plus now the DS220 Plus performs really well for my use case. And remember, I'm using it to store YouTube videos, to retrieve YouTube videos that I've recorded, uh, to stream content, all right? And that could be coming from Plex or from other media sources that I may have. And in order to do that, you'll have to check out the specs because they're quite impressive, especially for something so small. So it does have a CPU, as you can see here, and it has a two core, two gigahertz uh, CPU that has boost capabilities up to 2.9 gigahertz. Also, the network connections you can see here is, uh, it has two network connections and they're gigabit, right? So that's also really great. And it's really simple to have a gigabit, especially nowadays at home. So everything that I have hardwired to it is going through my gigabit network. Um, it can support RAID 1, right? Uh, so that if you do have any kind of failures, you don't have to worry about that. Now, there are a couple cool features that are available on the DS220 Plus. So check this out. You can actually use this as an audio station to store music. So if you have a large music archive, a lot of MP3s, you can store it on this drive. You also can use it to store videos. So you can download all your videos off of your phone or any kind of media that you recorded. Or if you're converting media, let's say from the old format like VHS, and you want to store it somewhere, you can do that too. Uh, as the video station, and you can see here, uh, you can actually stream content. I personally use it for Plex and it performs really well. So you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to how you can use this. Now the first thing I'm gonna show you is just the overall streaming experience. So here I have uh, my Synology DS220 and it's actually streaming or it's running my Plex server. Now Plex, depending on the subscription that you have, I have a lifetime su subscription. I've been a Plex user for many, many years. It uh, gives you the ability to stream content very similar to a lot of the smart TVs that you have today. And you notice this is content that's coming direct from uh, Plex. Now if we wanna see how well it performs, we're just gonna click on this and we're gonna tap on it and just see how quickly it starts up and starts streaming. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll hit play. time. There it goes. And you see it started streaming. So it's really fast when it comes to streaming content from Plex. So next let's take a look at how it streams content that I've stored from YouTube. 
Now I can access my content either using my phone, using my tablet, using my desktop, using my MacBook Pro or any other my window devices. And as you can see here, I've broken things down into several directory uh, structures. And, and this is my choice of how I've set up uh, the DS220. So I'm gonna go into my YouTube folder and you'll notice I have things broken down into media and video. And I also, um, download things automatically off of my media cards um, as I'm recording to make sure that I have a backup. So I'm just gonna go here into video and I'm gonna go into my 2020 content. So you notice I have 2019 content and I have things numbered. I've done it, the, the actual folder names, I have them numerically aligned so that they're sorted by number and then I have the calendar month after. So you'll notice I have one January, two February so I can see things really easily. A content retrieval is really simple. So I'm on my iPad now and I'm just gonna choose this, this one right here. Uh, this is actually a picture. This is for the Evolve that we just recently reviewed. So this is uh, some of the image that I had created and I had stored. So I'm able to store it uh, either uh, or create it on my MacBook Pro or on my machine back here, store it on the Synology and then retrieve it on the iPad and it's that simple. All you have to do is click on it um, and then I can just share it to the specific application I wanna use. Now performance of files is gonna vary based on the file type and also the size of the file. Network speed is also important as well as wireless speed. So even though the NAS is connected to a gigabit network, I'm still going through Wi-Fi. Uh, I have my iPad here and I'm just gonna show you how quickly it's able to just open up a file. So I'm gonna tap on this video. Um, it will basically take me to the video view so I can see the thumbnail. And at the very bottom, you see how it's loading the actual video file. Now, depending on the size, this is around a two gig file. Uh, so I don't expect it to stream um, smoothly because of the size of the file. But again, it gives me access, it allows me to download, and it allows me to access files and really offload a lot of the weight off of this machine, or in, the, in this case, this iPad Pro. Now the DS220 has a really robust configuration panel that allows you to personalize, create users, and just gives you an enormous amount of flexibility. So check this out. So here what we see is the control panel, and you have the ability to create shared folders, uh, file services, users, groups. Um, again, you can determine the accessibility if you want to be able to access it from uh, remote, meaning outside of your network. And then you also have the ability to install apps. So we're going to go here for a second. And I just want to show you some of the apps I have installed here. So you notice that I have Plex Media Server here, SoundStation, USB Copy, um, several solutions here. If we go back to this area, you'll notice that I have the ability to install packages or software. Uh, here you'll notice that these are all the packages that are available. So I'll just scroll down so you can see some of the ones that are there. And I'll show you the ones that I've already installed. So here I have the Plex Media Server that's currently running. I have the Universal Search, File Station, USB Copy, which is that function I had mentioned to you, and then also the Audio Station. But again, you have not only a solution that's gonna allow you to store files, right, in various forms of media, but you also have the ability to install programs that are gonna give you a next level, what I would say, of management and also a flexibility. So a lot to do here, so much to learn. So if you're interested in picking up, um, you know, the Synology system, definitely it's something that I would recommend. Uh, my needs are a little bit simpler because it's just storing files and, and media and video. But if you're looking for something that's going to store all of your personal media and then also back it up to the cloud because Synology also has a new solution that takes what you have in the DS220 or any of their Synology platform solutions and then will back it up to a cloud service as well. So lots of options there. Let me know what you think in the comment area below.